Hi everyone, this is Miley here and welcome to our learning video series. In today's gameplay, we're going to focus on another one called Shining Line Checking. How can we achieve this gameplay? Now come with me and have a close look. The target we're going to create today is to keep the arm beats walking along the black line. So when there is an object within a certain distance from the side, the color light will be changed once. The principle of this gameplay is that the microbot extension package, uh, which we have already downloaded before, provides a color setting functions for directly inputting the numbers. So different numbers represent for different color, and I can show you some. Um, the zero is to extinguish, that means the the light will the lights off, and the one to nine number corresponds to the color of the drop down menu one by one. Um, one is for red, two is for orange, and three is yellow, etc. So the thing that we need to prepare for this gameplay is that we need to use the ambit, the micro the ultrasonic sensor installed on this place and the micro USB cable and the computer. We need to use the USB cable to connect the micro bits and the computer. There will appear a uh, USB flash sticks. Just click it and entering into our program interface. So this table shows the software command for this gameplay and you can see all these commands can be found through the micro board choices. We use the initialized microboard, the line forward status, set model speed, light, and show light blocks. Here are the explanation for uh, this command. You can check it by yourself. And this part is the program for this gameplay. You need to remember from the very beginning that you need to initialize the microboard to set the server index for to a certain angle and the duration and then we can jump and then we will jump into a forever command and we need to judge if the line follower status sensor behave like sensor once in the black lines while sensor two not in the black line then set the model speed the model one speed to 50 and the model two speed to minus 25. If we cannot satisfy this condition, it will jump into this one. If the line follower status behaves like sensor 2 in the black line while sensor 1 not in the black line, then we can change the speed like this, like this. And if both of them are in the black line, and then we can change the speed like this. So very clear and easy to understand this part. And then we will jump into another program. If the ultrasonic distance larger than zero but less than 15, we will change the color by one. So we will set the color one to a certain color and the light two to another color. And if the color equals, equals to eight, then we will set the color to zero. So why we need to set the color? So why when the color equals to eight, it will become zero. That means that is because when the number of the color increase to eight, we don't have the corresponding number to show the color. So, so that's the reason why we set the color to zero again. And it also, it is also the way, it is also the way how to show the different colors one by one. And this is the whole program for our this gameplay. I believe you can also create it one by yourself. If you still have any question, do not hesitate to let me know. See you there.